G'day viewers, I'm Simon Christie and welcome to Life Off-Road. This week the crew are up north in Queensland for round five of the ARB, Australian Off-Road Racing Series. It's the 40th anniversary of this prestigious event. It's the Albans ARB Gundawindi 400. I hope you enjoyed the action. This year is the 40th anniversary of the Gundawindi event. Still an iconic event for sure, and the club gets behind the whole thing, the town does too, and it's a great weekend for all of us. Gundy's Gundy, and it's an iconic race. It's rough, it's tough, and this is a great event. We love coming to Gundy. There are the holes out there, and there's some quite nasty, harsh ruts that'll pop up. It is a track that will bite you. The men and the boys are definitely going to get sorted out after this race. Yeah, have a wild time across those big melon holes. It's going to be good. It says something about the Gundawindi track and the event that people love to come back and compete here. It's a very challenging track and people just want to come and beat and finish here at Gundawindi. There is the biggest and best stuff here in Australia. It's anyone's game. We're out here at the 40th Gundawindi 400. Kicked off back in 1977 out of Kingdom, which is sort of back a little bit closer to Toowoomba. Over the years, it's sort of moved through a variety of properties. And now we're out at Malapanya. We've been coming here since October 78, on the second one, and missed a couple of years in the 90s, but it's been a consistent one that we like. Absolutely love it. History, you know, the people, 40 years, that's awesome. And it's still pumping by the looks. Definitely a testament to the town and the club to hold an off-road race for 40 years in a row. That's awesome. This is the only round in our home state, Queensland. Our head office is based in Brisbane, so this is our own backyard. It's pretty important to have a, a Queensland round as part of the series. There's a lot of local guys, especially a lot of the four-wheel drives that you'll see here this weekend. And it gives them a chance to sort of come out and strut their stuff basically against the national competitors, the guys that chase the whole series. We've had a great roll up, over 100 cars plus, racing this weekend, the best we've ever had. Guys from down south, you know, they always love us going to their races, it's a long way. It's good to see them come up and support us. The cars come nearly 17 hours. Hats off to my dad, he puts in the hard yards, he's always in the workshop and he's driving the car here too. We flew from New Zealand and we've driven four hours. To be honest, most of the work, and we've got to give credit to, is Ben and Luke Usyk. They've driven 3,000 k's from Adelaide, they've prepped the cars and we thank them a lot for that. The old man left on Tuesday with two cars and drove up and did the hard yards for us. Lucky enough to have an old man that's super keen. I think last time we raced here 2012 for us, we rolled. So, we haven't done much of the track, got about halfway around, flipped it on its lid, and that was us for the weekend. Last year, we broke the rear sway bar and couldn't end up finishing the race, so it took us out last year, but hopefully this year we finish. It's the fourth year that we've raced Gundy. Two times we haven't finished the race, so one we have. Uh, hopefully, we have a good run this weekend and we're there at the end. The series is going to change after this race. People are going to start dropping their worst rounds after this race because it's round number five. So you'll start to see a big change in the points. The series has just been a fantastic format. The new WSA has been good and uh, everyone's got behind it, which is fantastic. We chase the ARB series. We love it. I don't think we would be here racing if it wasn't for that. It just gets better and better. We've got over 90 competitors for this round and I don't think he could really improve from that. I think it's just going to go from strength to strength this whole series. The plan will be just to finish, <laughs> and there's a couple of blokes that are really close behind us. 
Just to finish, we've had a horrible year. We blew the engine up at Griffith. We didn't make Wakery because of that. The car just wasn't ready. This year, just try to tone it down a little bit and be a bit more sensible and finish the race. To go around, keep the car alive, have the first round really just sussing out what everything's about and seeing how fast everyone else is going, I think. For us, anyway, play the caution card first. So in the ARB series, we're running currently third outright. We've done three rounds of the series. Points-wise, we're still up for a good chance to have a crack in here, so we'll see. I mean, a lot can happen too, but pretty excited about it, so yeah, it's good. At the moment, we're coming second in the series behind Dale, and the car's been fabulous. It's done four races now, and it hasn't missed a beat. Well, we had a good start of the year. We put in some good events early on. The way the series works is four rounds out of six count. And we've come up here anyway to hopefully better those results that we've got so far. There's some guys definitely chasing some points. I think there'll be some smart strategies going on and blokes will be looking at where they're at and they'll be looking for a finish. Saturday we had the prologue and then the Gundawindi tyre service top 10 shootout. And then Saturday afternoon, one lap of the 80 kilometre course. Prolog track's something unique here at Gundy, same same scenario, I guess it basically rewards people who take risks and get away with it. It sort of sorts the cars out a fair bit, so it was really good run around there today. Prolog went really well for us, we came fourth. Coming past here, this Malapanya run is really high speed, big holes and pretty much hold a pin down there and across a couple of big jumps. We've had a pretty good day. Prolog, we finished. We did break the car and had two-wheel drive, but we were able to finish, which was awesome. I love Prolog track here. It's got everything in it. Malapanya too, that's just snarly. By the end of the, the weekend, hitting into that will be pretty cool. Today we've had the top 10 shootout, and been very successful for us. The top three all running Nicky Thompson tyres, and all up six out of the top 10, so the top five we're all on our tyres, which we're very impressed with. Format Gundy's usually fairly well the same. We have the, the lap on the Saturday Arvo, where you, you really need to go hard and sort of position yourself for Sunday. We've completed the first lap today, the Saturday lap of 80 k's. Got to send it down that straight this afternoon, flat out. So didn't bin it, didn't break it. Now I can hand it over to Lawrence and he can do it all again tomorrow. So the format is perfect for us. So after one lap, currently we're sitting in seconds. Wind's actually good because it blows the dust away. But in the morning, first couple of laps could be a bit dusty and then we'll see what happens from there. Being in the afternoon today, when we completed our section, the sun was in your eyes coming through some of the, the tighter stuff in the trees and catching some cars and in their dust. And it was pretty hard and tough. We did hit a, a few holes where we thought, oh, we're having a moment here, but we got out of it, so it was all good. Went out and basically did prologue a bit, a little bit slow there. We got in the top 10, luckily enough. So then we were able to just sort of shoot our way up the order in the top 10. Started second off the line, chased a fellow for about half a lap. He got a flat, I think, so then we had a bit of a dust free run, which is unusual. It was good fun. Not break down for a start, <laughs> but we'll just keep doing what we did today and circulating around. So dust is going to be a problem, we know, all know that, but hopefully we're there at the end. Uh, as I said, we'll throw up as much dust for Talbot Cox as we can, keep him behind us, and I'm not sure what's going on behind him, but you know, it's a long way to go tomorrow. We'll get out there and see how we go. It'll be a, sort of a battle of attrition and an endurance race tomorrow, so we'll just get out there and see how we go. 
Tomorrow will be a bit of a tough day, especially when the track's tearing up a fair bit, but our biggest thing is to keep the belts on the car. Hopefully we can try and fix it tonight and have a good day to finish tomorrow. It would be awesome. We can push a bit harder now and you can sort of see that there's a lot of cars falling out left, right and centre. Like, look, one, I'd really want to be here at the end, but two, if we can get under the hour mark and just sort of take a minute off each lap, then I'm stoked. Saturday was a challenging day here at Gundawindi due to a car coming off the track and hitting a large tree, taking a wheel off the car and then flicking it across the track in a spot that was pretty tight with trees on either side, we ended up with a blocked track, which meant that there was seven or eight cars that banked up behind this car and couldn't get through the course to continue. As a result of that, those cars that were stopped, our rules say that if there's a track blockage or an accident or something like that, they're given back time that they were stopped. When time was allowed back to car one driven by Jack Rhodes, um, unfortunately for Aaron, it put him back into second place. So yesterday basically we did a lap, we had the quickest time, then some guys were given time back for something, I'm not sure how it all works with the officials. So I went to bed last night thinking I was starting first and I got the smallest start in second. Pulled a pretty good move which I'll probably relive over my mind for a few years to come. This one's always a tough one to pick a winner. Danny Brown's definitely got the runs on the board in recent years. He's a very hard man to bet against him. Brad Gallard in the trophy truck, he's sort of, yeah, won it as well a couple of times. There's plenty of guys that can really give it a go if sort of the cards fall their way this weekend. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see who's on top on Sunday afternoon. It's good to come to a race with a big number, like 100 plus entries. Most ARB races I've gone in this year had 100 good quality cars across all classes. So, it's great coming to races where you're actually racing a lot of cars. A lot of really competitive cars in our class especially. We've got a lot of big cars outright too, a lot of big trucks here this weekend, so there's going to be some really good racing. We are expecting 110 and that's really good to see, especially because a lot of the ARB racing community comes from the Victorian side of things and for everybody to travel all the way up here, it's really good to see. You get a lot of different competitors at this race, good mix, it's good to see. Another event, you know, with a, pretty much a sellout field, which is really good. I've been to the last two in South, you know, with um, good numbers, you know, full sellout, so it's really good to see, especially everyone coming up to Queensland to have a go up here. Half a dozen years ago, Gundy was the last round. It was a little bit hard to get people up here. For some reason this year, they're just turning up. It's really great to see. The track out there, there is a bit of a, a mixed rain. There's like your soft sort of red bull dust that you get caught in, which can make a lot of dust and it'll stick around. It doesn't blow off as easy. And then you get into more of the hard packed through like melon holes and stuff like that. It's not a very rocky track compared to other tracks that we have been on, but it still has your different types of terrain, as in like you get to the sandy soft stuff where there are, we call it the beach section, because it gets quite boggy and the big buggy ruts are, get horrendous. They will go tomorrow and then you get back onto your hard pack and into those whoops and some of your cool stuff. Track's fantastic. It's just a very demanding, good mix of everything. A bit dusty today because of all the cars and a bit of lack of wind today, but no, it's a real driver's track. It's a lot of fun, very hard in a lot of places, very fast in others. It's just a great mix, I love it. The track does have a good variety of terrain. It, it is very, very fast, like there's some sections there where the, you know, the turbo buggies will be sort of hitting close on 200k an hour. I love Gundy, you can't really remember what's coming, so it's just hang on, it's a tough track. The track at Gundy's changed a little bit since we were here last. It's uh, been a couple of years, they've put a few new bits in, but there's some awesome bits out there. The bear run's fantastic. 
You get rewarded for pushing hard, risking a fair bit in the really rough ground. You can pick up a bit of time there, but yeah, it's always a fine line between pushing hard and going over. Sunday's format for the event is four laps of the 80 kilometre course, made up of two laps starting at 8 o'clock in the morning, a 60 minute service break after the cars have completed two laps and then straight back out for another two laps of the 80 kilometre course. Generally speaking, our four-wheel drives are multi-purpose vehicles, and a great option is to add an aluminium tray. To find out more, let's speak to the experts at Carryboy. Hi, I'm Paul from Carryboy, and today I want to present to you our new range of full aluminium trays. These trays are a strong and inexpensive option to transform your ute into a load-carrying workhorse. Our trays offer a range of unique features, and because they're full aluminium, they are one of the lightest on the market. One of the biggest advancements and a unique feature of our trays are the drop-down sides. First of all, they're super strong. They come with plain fascias, so you can apply your own advertising. They are drop-down and removable, but they also interlock in a drop-down position, and you can legally drive with them like that. Additional features are the rear roll bar, like this one here, and we can even fit a tradesman roof rack, like the one behind me on the carryboy canopy. The tray comes with plenty of tie-down points, easy to use latches, all of the fixtures are extruded aluminium, which maximises strength. For further information, jump on our website. I'm Paul from Carryboy Australia, thanks for watching. The atmosphere at this race is electric, you know. You have a lot more helicopters around the track. They have a good spectator area with the build-up, the mound that everybody can stand on. A lot of tents, a lot of shade, nice food, good commentary. You have some people that really know what they're talking about. The atmosphere is really good for the boys, everybody on the fence. We've done a lot of work on the pits out there and the spectator area, the mound, and we've cleared some shrubbery and that, so we can see a good run of the Malapanya run there and we've cleared through to see some other sections of the track and it'll be great. Once again the club's done a great job, made the spectator area really good, it's nice and high and you can see what's going on there, it's going to be fantastic, I think the wind's blowing the right way too so it's going to be fantastic for spectating. It's a big crowd, obviously we're not looking at them when we're racing because we're trying to work out what's in front of us, so. but yeah, spectator crowd, it's good, it's good to see the people come out and support the event. The track was great, very dusty, quite still today. We had a sort of a first lap where we didn't have any lapid cars to, to worry about, but then on the second lap it was very, very hard with the dust. Coming on a complete stop on a, a couple of occasions, but yeah, you just sort of got to push through it and hope there's nothing in between you and the car. My plan was not to come second here today with my two sons and my friend Adrian and Pete in the car. We're lucky enough to come along here and, uh, and win the race at Gundy. Did it all ourselves and basically won the race and we're bloody very proud of it. It's always going to be a big battle in the dust so our plan was just to go out there and sort of conserve a little bit and just, just finish because it was going to be almost impossible to pass cars so because the, the dust was pretty terrible today. You know, it's, it's good to be on the podium at any time, so unfortunately we couldn't go three in a row, but still, you know, first loser's not too bad. Well, the day started out pretty well. The first lap of the afternoon, we had to stop and get out of the car not long into it. The throttle return spring came off and tried to jimmy it up the best we could and almost came in halfway through that to fix it properly. and thought, no, nah, we'll just cruise home to, to just finish the bloody thing and get home, and <laughs> it's all worked out all right. and describe what it feels like to finally be on the top step here at the Gundy 400. 
Yeah, so fantastic to come to Gundy with a couple of mates and my two sons and to come away with a victory with the help of some fantastic people. We've succeeded in what we aim to do and we're just wrapped. Love coming to Gundy, it's a great race and just wrapped to come away with a win. Get you guys to come forward and get some group photos of the guys. So anyone who wants a photo will get the official media and then people for their uh, people for their social media. It's a hard slog of a weekend and um, yeah, we're just glad to be finished. Absolute bull. <laughs> An end like I did not expect. <laughs> it was great. The next round of the ARB series is the Teagle Excavations ARB Pines Enduro on the third weekend of September at Millicent in South Australia. <laughs>